the Big Five remains to be the pride of Kenya when it comes to tourism. But other sectors are also fast catching up, such as the sand beaches, bird watching and conference tourism. This has called for new ventures within the tourism sector. Uh, it's very important that uh, the tourism sector is able to, to, to embrace research as a means of knowing or understanding what is needed by the tourist, because this is all about marketing. Tourism can only work where people are selling and selling products that people want. We have a lot of things that have been happening in the tourism sector. One of them is that we offer traditional tourism and people have moved on. Research is going to unearth that, unpack that and make us understand what are the changing needs and the trends in the market. We also carry out research on uh, uh, intelligence uh, research on markets, new mar uh, tourism product, uh, markets for, for tourism. So the research is important for tourism. Uh, and it is also the, the, the only way you can know the, 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 the growing, uh, uh, changing needs of the customers so that you know to which products to develop. It's towards this that the Global Travel and Tourism Partnership in Kenya, a multi-country educational program that introduces students to career opportunities in the travel and tourism industries, is taking a proactive venture to improve the tourism industry. This is the group that is holding the key to the future of Kenya because this talking to the younger generation, they are molding the people who we believe are the, the people will be making these decisions in the future. And creativity and youth is very, very, very synonymous. Uh, research, before coming to Ipsos for this training on research, uh, I never knew the fundamentals that is involved within the research areas. First of all, we used to, I used to think of research as, some, as uh, something that is uh, not based on the truth. In partnership with a leading research firm in Kenya, it has embarked on training teachers of secondary schools who also run tourism clubs in order to nurture the art of research. Uh, we, normally, uh, we normally have research in uh, our club, GTTP, and the way I've been doing it, I've realized that it's not the right way to do because there, we have systematic procedures that need to be followed. Uh, therefore, I'm going to apply this in our club so, so that uh, the remaining research, for example, over the remaining case study and next years and the years after, we, we use the correct procedures so that we can be able to come up with something credible. The two-day research training classes took place at the Ipsos Center and according to the participants, it will go a long way if the country is to achieve its targets within the tourism sector. It's an excellent initiative because uh, being the fact, uh, considering the fact that they, 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 it's a training for teachers who are directly dealing with students, young and uh, uh, prospective young entrepreneurs, I think the knowledge they gather here, they are going to impart on the students. To first to, uh, and foremost, to, to, to get to know the opportunities available in tourism and also to know some basic uh, techniques in research, being uh, academicians, uh, growing academicians. The training involved lectures, group discussions, and nothing goes untested at IPSOS. But the trends that have placed here together like that. The number of tourists has not been stable over the years. And our research was mainly on the three years that's between, that's between 2006 and 2009, because we are limited by our research materials. This is then followed by rewarding the best. We are most stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> But um, after undergoing these two days training, I've realized that uh, research is a very, very important tool in our day-to-day -day life. And it's important in that uh, we have a lot that goes on, starting from the collection of data, analysis, presentation, until you come up with the correct data that is always given out to the field. It entails a lot, and uh, I'm challenged. We still 
have a lot to do. We still have to improve even the way we can access our country. We need to, to, to look at uh, issues of uh, the region. How can we promote regional tourism? Equipped with the knowledge and skills, teachers drawn from various schools promise to deliver the challenge to fellow colleagues as well as students when it comes to research. Of course, uh, we have just been uh, talking, we will be working together in certain areas, we will be partnering, yes, to give uh, more, uh, to, 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 to encourage and even uh, sensitize more students uh, in regard to tourism. Uh, this training is on research is very important and I believe uh, given time because of the change in various technology, various ways in which we can be able to come up with information, we, keep, we need to keep on refreshing and therefore I like to urge my colleagues who are at the university, maybe they are lecturing or uh, their students, to take their research work seriously because with the continued change in the environment, change in technology, it will be very important that they keep on refreshing so that they come up with the modern ways in which they can be able to come up with credible research activity. Tourism uh, information is spreading, uh, spreading across Kenya and this is going to encourage most, more Kenyans to be, get, get involved in tourism activities as an alternative means of uh, income earning. The Global Travel and Tourism Partnership in Kenya is now on the lookout to partner with the government through the ministry involved in tourism in an aim to widen the scope of research training and also nature researchers from an early age all in a target of improving the tourism sector.